Alright, what's up YouTube and welcome back to the channel. In today's build, we're going to work on the SCX24 Jeep Wrangler Indoor Crawler Edition. So we're doing this build on, on the channel. So if you haven't subscribed, definitely consider subscribing because we're going to be building out this little Jeep. Specifically for indoor crawling. So this is episode 2. So recently I had a viewer um, reach out to me, email me. Um, my email is always in the description, so if you ever want to email me, just hit me up right there. But this viewer, um, he emailed me and wanted me to try out some of his 3D printed uh, scale accessories for the Jeep Wrangler. So I went out and bought this Jeep Wrangler specifically for this video, because I'm that dedicated. But uh, here I have a package um, with a bunch of uh, 3D printed accessories that I do not know about or haven't even seen. So I'm really going to be surprised just as much as you guys are right now. I'm pretty excited uh, to get this build uh, started. So yeah. Holy moly. Oh, sick. Oh my God. Check it out. A little kayak. A 3D printed kayak. Oh, that is sick. Oh, loving that. This is a tire, a spare tire rack with a little uh, carrying thing on the, on the back. Oh shoot. Oh, this is sick with the jerry rig holders on the sides. Oh, 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 that's sick too. Holy crap. Check it out, a different variant of uh, the roof rack, or no, the spare tire um, mount without the rack on top. Oh man, this is gonna look sick. Oh, I am so excited. Uh, what is this? What is this? Oh. I can't tell what this is, but we'll have to do some invest investigating right now. So I believe this is um, a simulated uh, camper bed. So this is gonna go up top top like that so it's supposed to be a simulated camper bed that's freaking sick a roof rack right here oh that's what i was talking about oh sick and it comes with a little uh little mounting points holy moly man it's spoiled i did not think it was going to be this much holy crap should have just a bunch of little 3d printed parts this is this is wow i can't believe you did all this holy moly check it out little propane tank Silver, propane tank in white, propane tank in gold, little chainsaw, that's freaking sick. Bunch of gas cans, one, two. Oh, they're different sizes. Oh no, they're all the same size. Four of these guys, a generator, <laughs> holy crap. Um, like a water jug kind of thing, a big old ice chest. What is this? I don't know what this is. Is this a holder for the generator? Okay, so here's my little card that I was given with the package. Dear Miguel, thank you for your purchase. Please check back on, please check back often for new items for sale. After receiving your items, please leave Pato's feedback if satisfied. If not, let me know so I can correct it, Robert. So at Saddlebag420 on eBay. Holy moly. So here's a little note. I use Gorilla, clean mounting tape for attaching most of these. The snorkel I used a small screw and some glue, enjoy. Thank you, Robert. Appreciate everything that you sent me. Was not expecting to be this much. I'm beyond uh, stoked. This is really gonna be a lot of fun for this build. So again, it's saddle, Saddlebag420 on eBay. So don't forget that, guys. I'm gonna put his link in the description. Um, so if you want, if you're interested in any of this, uh, definitely check out that link and you'll be led to his eBay store. So I'm right here on Robert's uh, eBay store and I'm just kind of comparing uh, my photos or what I'm going to do to his photos of his store. And so there's so many possibilities of how uh, things are mounted. It's pretty insane if you ask me. Okay, I see what that is now. Oh, all right. But there is so much stuff on here. It's insane. The roof rack with the kayak. Looking pretty sick. Um, what is this called? Spare tire mount with cargo rack and gas cans for Axial SCX24 Jeep with cooler. Okay, so that's that's in there. Oh, I see what's going on now. Oh. Ah, okay. So these little things. So these little guys clip into the um, to the roof rack so that the kayak can fit in them. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So I'm assuming that clips in like that somehow. Oh, all right. 
So that clips in like that, and then the kayak sits above it. Ooh, and then that'll go in the Jeep like that. Oh, that makes total sense. Check that out. That's freaking sick. Okay, yeah, for sure we're doing that. Okay. So there's quite a bit going on right here, but the first thing I decided to do is use this spare tire cargo rack thing. We're gonna do that first. I'm probably the simplest thing to do. So I simply have my uh, my spare wheel from my previous Jeep build. If you haven't checked out that vid that playlist, check it out, it's up here. But I'm simply gonna mount it on to the hex in the back. And then we have a little screw right here. I don't know where it's from, but I got it. And then we're simply just gonna tighten it down and check out the fitment. All right, don't want to over tighten anything, but uh, that fit pretty darn well. So there's that. So now I'm gonna undo um, the body mount with my uh, wear hex. Reliable 1.3 hex, I believe. Yep, 1.3. Been using it throughout my playlist, so if you're interested in getting a tool like this, um, link's also in the description. So there's four screws right here. Pretty simple stuff. Just one. So this is the provided uh, mounting bracket plate, whatever you want to call it, from Axial. And so, oh, I can't believe I did that. Uh, I need to take the tire back off because I need to mount it and then put the tire on. So I'm gonna do that. So here are the four holes that we uh, need to mount our, uh, our screws back to our body. So it should be pretty standard stuff. These screws go right into there. Bam, perfect fitment. And we're just gonna match them up and screw in. So the holes that mount the body to the chassis to this 3D printed cargo printed out perfectly. Um, didn't need to do any, didn't need to do any drilling or anything like that. So uh, quality of the prints are, are great. The holes perfect. There's three. One more to go. All right. So there is the rear cargo rack on the back of the Jeep without any of the accessories on it yet. And that looks pretty freaking sick if you ask me. So now I'm gonna remount the spare tire and then we'll move on from there. Bam. So there's that. Holy crap, this thing is looking sick. Woo. All right, so now that's mounted. Let's mount the gas cans, okay? My gas can. And I want to put it back here on the truck. So I'm just going to grab a little dab of this hot glue because I don't want to lose these while uh, we're on the trail or anything. A little dab of glue on the bottom. Then I'm simply just going to grab it and drop it in. Hold it there for a couple seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And now it is in. So we're going to do the same exact thing on the other side. So now here provided is an ice chest. Pretty freaking huge compared, if you ask me, uh, one of the best scale ice chests I've seen. Um, so there's an ice chest and then we have a propane tank. So we're gonna install them like that. Bottom of the ice chest, don't wanna put too much glue. But we're gonna grab it. And the same thing for the propane tank. Drop it like that. Clean up our, our, our glue web. Boom. So there is the back of the Jeep, all loaded up. Ooh. Ooh, definitely gonna have to improve the suspension on the on the Jeep, because now you can totally tell it's sagging. <laughs> so here's a snorkel, and it's uh, three pieces. So it's the top piece, and then it's the actual snorkel, and then it's the mounting piece to the body. So first thing I wanna do, I wanna just put a little dab of glue and then we're gonna get the top piece of the snorkel and glue it together. So bam, there we are. There's the top part of the snorkel going to the actual snorkel part. And then we're gonna repeat the same process to the body mount part. Hold it there for a couple seconds. Don't wanna to put too much, don't want it to be seeping out from the corners. A little dab of glue. There is a snorkel on the Jeep. So here is the roof rack. It's pretty friggin' uh, standard. Um, and so these little mounting plates hold the, uh, the kayak. 
So we could either do these little kayak mounts like that, or we could do the simulated pop-up camp, or simulated pop-up tent. So uh, the tent would probably be the best for actually crawling capabilities and stuff like that, but the kayak looks so cool. We're gonna do, um, normally what I like to do with the previous tree build, I filled up this little whole section right here with glue. And then I put glue in the four corners, one over here. And I'm just gonna press, gently press down for a couple seconds. I'm definitely gonna have to go through later with like a Dremel or something and just get rid of all of the, the glue that's kind of seeping away because I know I'm losing using a lot of uh, hot glue. So there is the Jeep with the roof rack on. So got the spare tire with all the cargo stuff on there, got the snorkel, and now we have the roof rack. And we're not even close to being done yet. All right, so now we have these little kayak mounts uh, for the Jeep. And uh, just like what we did with everything else, I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit of glue. I'm gonna put it a little bit up front on the Jeep. So I put that one up front first because I also wanna put the generator and this kind of like this tank on the top part of the Jeep as well. So we're gonna put these towards the back of the rack. There we are. So now the last mounting piece for this kayak, we're gonna put it, uh, that looks pretty good to me. Nothing too crazy and then we're just gonna gently hold it there for a couple seconds. Holy moly, this Jeep is looking sick. Holy moly, so this thing is freaking loaded the freak on up, man. Holy crap, and the install was pretty easy. Nothing but uh, hot glue. Um, you could, probably could use some screws on the roof rack and stuff like that if you wanted to, but uh, I've dealt with the rack like that in the past and I really haven't seen the need for the screws. So yeah, definitely with the hot glue. So we have the cargo, spare wheel, rack with uh, the gas cans, the cooler, and the propane tank with uh, the spare axial tire in the back fit perfectly. Then up top we have a roof rack with a kayak and some mounts for that kayak. And then we have some kind of tank and a generator, which is pretty freaking cool. And then coming down low, we have a snorkel. So yeah, that was pretty freaking easy. The truck looks freaking awesome. Just want to say thanks again to Saddle Bag 420 on eBay, Robert, for sending me that. Really appreciate it. Um, wasn't really expecting anything, and I was freaking beyond blown away. So, like I said earlier, if you want to check out his eBay store, the link's going to be in the description. You can buy everything that you see here, and you could even buy some more. So, here is a simulate. Here are all the parts that I didn't use. So, here is a simulated pop up camper. So, you put it on the top and it's a simulated pop-up camper. So uh, there's that. And then we have the spare tire with the gas can mounts without the cargo rack. Um, so yeah, there's that also. And then we have some snorkel pieces right here that I didn't use. We have a little 3D printed chainsaw, which is <laughs> pretty cool. And then we have, what is this, a propane tank in gold, orange or gold, and in silver. And then, I couldn't figure out what this is. I have no clue what this is. I have no clue. But uh, yeah, that's in there too. Oh, I see, wait, 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 hold on. I don't know, I'm not too sure. Yeah, all this on eBay. Um, if you guys want me to give this away, comment down below. I'm not too sure if I should give it away or use it on my other Jeep build. But yeah, um, this is all super sick. So let's see how it performs with the, uh, the Impala crawl. So here we are on the Impala. Grab that little remote. Oh so yeah, there's definitely some added weight to the back of the vehicle, like you'd expect. Um, I know most people probably don't add all these accessories to their Jeep, 
Um, so yeah, this is kind of just me being me. Let's see if we can make it up. We can make it up. Come on, we can make it up. Oh crap. <laughs> so there's definitely out of weight. Um, so let's just do that. And we made it up. Let's freaking go. Let's go. Yeah. That thing just looks sick. Oh, oh. on the descent. No longer. Look at that, oh, wheelie action. Oh. I've never been able to do that with the SCX24. It shows you all the added weight in the back. Oh, that is so sick. Oh my gosh. All right guys, I've said a couple times already, if you like anything on this Jeep, definitely check out the description below. You can buy all of it on eBay, it's pretty freaking awesome. Um, if you haven't subscribed, definitely consider subscribing because this is only the episode two in this build. We're gonna go through the whole entire truck, hopefully try to get 20 episodes this time. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace